So today we have this proposal um, that is one small thing that we can do. What we are proposing this year is first of all to add an additional $100,000 towards um, the Commission on Equitable Compensation grants. Um, that's something that was in part of the budget that we just voted on. But then the next thing is that we have, um, we set minimum compensations. And again, these are minimum compensations for all clergy. This year, what we're suggesting is um, we're not raising that, that bottom number. I know that some would like to see that raise as well. But what we are doing is we're adding longevity increases. What these longevity increases are, um, and those numbers that you see there are just for the full elders, but if you turn to page 41 um, in your materials, you can see the, the full breakdown. Those top numbers are the numbers that we'll be voting on today. Those bottom numbers are the numbers that we would like to see us vote on next year, but we only do this one year at a time, and we need to see what happens with this year. And so what this means is that for each year of service, we're giving a pay raise of about 0.75%. Um, that'll only be in effect for each five years. So what that accounts to is after five years of service, a full elder, instead of having a base compensation of 43,260, will have a base compensation of 44,932. That will then go up at 10 years to 46,733. After 15 years, 48,673. And after 20 years, 50,000. 762. You can see that those there's also increases for provisional elders and um, deacons for local pastors who have completed course of study and those who have not yet completed course of study. Um, but I'm not going to read all of those numbers to you since you have them there before you. Um, so what this will do is it will close the gap somewhat.